Okay, for farm 208 and 209, um, week three, daily checkpoint for Wednesday. It's gonna be an extension of weight-dependent dosing. So you'll need to know how to do weight-dependent dosing. So of course, step A, take the pound and you divide by 2.2 to get to the kilos. And then for part B, you take the weight in kilos times the order, and that will give you the daily amount. And then once you get the daily amount, you may need to divide by some doses. That's going to give you the per dose amount. That's your order per dose. So your last step is just an order and supply problem. All right, so this is a review of Monday's DC and math three. But for Wednesday, you might get a percentage or a ratio. So let's go over percentage. So percent, what does percent mean to you guys? Per 100, yeah. So cent means 100. So whenever you have a percentage, for example, 10%, that's going to be 10 per 100. If you have 3%, then that's going to be how many? 3 per 100. If you have 0. 0.5% then that is 0.5 over 100 but what we're going to put is units the first units are going to be grams and the second is going to be mls so 10% is 10 grams per 100 ml 3% is 3 grams per 100 ml yep so for us, our units is grams and mls. 0.5% is 0.5 grams per 100 ml. So let's take a look at this example for tomorrow's DC. All right, so basic steps for percentages. So the first step is we got to convert all right 77 lbs divided by 2.2 how many is that 35 35 kg next step we got the kgs we're going to multiply by the order order per kg so in this case it is 10 so every day they will get 350 milligrams. Are we going to give it to them all at once? No. No. We might harm them if we do. So here they're going to divide it by two doses. So we'll divide by two doses. And that's going to give us 175. Alright, so we got their weight, we got their per day amount, and we got their per dose amount. So we know our last step is going to be order for the supply times the amount. So for percentage, we got to convert our supply into something that we're familiar with. So 4%. What does 4% mean to us? Four grams for every one hundred ml. Okay, now it's something that we're more used to using. Right? Amount of drug per volume. Here we got amount of drug per volume. So we got milligrams here, we got grams here. So most likely we'll want to change this to four thousand milligrams, right? Now we can plug and chug. 
the order is for 175 milligrams. Our supply comes 4,000 milligrams per 100 ml. So, how many ml would they need per day? Four point two five. Do we have a second? Four point two five ms. All right. Let's see. Let's see if it's an answer choice. So patient's weight was seventy seven. Amount per day was three fifty. Amount per dose was one seventy five. And we got a 4.25? Oh, 4.375. Okay, so it's closer to 4.5. Yeah. So 4.375. So closer to 4.5. All right, let's submit this guy. <laughs> I guess it didn't register, but I'm pretty sure we got, oh, CCD. Um, I submitted the wrong one. I was supposed to submit the first one. <laughs> I was supposed to submit this one here. All right, let's go on to the next step then. <laughs> All right, so that was based on percentage. Next thing you'll need to convert our ratios. So on the bottle, on the supply, it might have a ratio instead of a concentration or a percentage. For example, two to one. So this is easy. All a ratio for us in this class is the first number represent grams and the second number represent ml. So if you have two to 100, that's easy. That's two grams for every 100 ml. But if you had a one to 50 ratio, then that's one gram for every 50 ml. So as long as you remember our units, the grams and mLs for percentages and ratios, you'll be okay. All right, so let's do this problem. So Wednesday you might get percentages or you might get a ratio. All right, so let's do this one in rapid succession. 110 divided by 2.2 .2 gives us how much does this guy weigh? 50 or 55? 50. 50 kg? We'll go with 50. Let's see. We got that 50 kg. We multiply by the dose per kilogram. In this case, it is 10 milligrams. So we're going to need 500 milligrams. That's per day. So we're not going to give it to them all at once. We're going to give it to them in four divided doses. So, yep, 125 milligrams per dose. So this is our per dose amount. And for D, we already figured out that our supply is 2 grams for every 100 ml. So let's change that to 2,000 milligrams for that number. So last step order over supply times the amount. Our order is 125 milligrams. The supply is 2 grams, which we change to 2,000. And our volume for the supply is per 100 ml. So do 125 divided by 2,000 times 100. What 
did you say? Okay. So about 6.3. Right. I don't know why I keep on saying I'm leaving it blank. I think my internet might be. <laughs> that's so weird. Anyway, so that's how you do Wednesday's DQ. Whether it is percentage or ratio, you got to convert your percentage to grams per 100 ml. And for your ratio, the first number is grams, the second number is 